streets and get more out to the community and Fantastic. get high and I love stuff like that. Yeah, and then it gives, you, gives, you, yeah, it gives you a big yeah. feel good about what we're doing. Yes. Well, so, Deborah, thank, uh, you. thank you very much for being on the show again. Uh, we're going to take a short break That's and right. then we're going to come back with the Murano Minute. Here we go. Thanks, Deb. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Worcester, where diversity works. Where diversity works. Welcome to the city of Worcester. Benvenuti alla città di Worcester, dove la diversità funziona. Mirce veni de Worcester, cu funcionon de respecto diversiteti. Bem-vindo à cidade de Worcester, onde a diversidade funciona. Bienvenidos a Worcester, donde la diversidad funciona. Welcome to the city of Worcester, where diversity works. Yeah. Okay, we're back here in the working lunch, and as promised before the break, we have the launch, the official launch here. Or is this the second time you've been on as the Murano Minute? Then that's not a this launch. Is this, we this is the first. We were kind of unsure if we were. Launch. Oh. If it was the second no, launch. No, before it was the Ross Roundup. Right. Right. Which, so we were, which lended itself to like, yeah, and all that. Now what do we do with the Murano? What? Why did we change the name of the program again? <laughs> I got oh, it. that's right, you got married. That's right. So I think what we're going to do is go with like a, like almost like a 60 minutes <laughs> clock theme, we right? We need, we need. And now it's time for yes. Murano Minute. I like it. I like it. stopwatch. Now it's, how about this? Now it's time for the fastest 30 seconds on TV. It's the Murano Minute. 60 seconds of updates. 60 seconds <laughs> no, we of say news. And now make them think like 30 seconds? Wait, a minute? 30, what? <laughs> Get them thinking. Oh, you're funny. Doing the math. Doing the math. Doing the math. Okay, so, so with that, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, yes. And tell Your us what's... first time right here. Right? We're oh, launching yeah. it. Launching yes. it today. Launch is today. Today. Two Fantastic. Day. What took you so long? <laughs> let's let's, 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 let's launch let's right into it. it. Yeah, what's okay. going on? So, we have some good things happening. Um, so, I don't know if you guys remember the Art in the Park exhibit at Elm yes. Park. Do you guys remember yeah, it? Yeah, yes, so yes. That Fantastic. is launching on June 11th. Oh, beautiful. Uh, which is a Sunday from 3 to 6. Um, there's going to be some drumming, there's going to be far farmer's market, artist talks. <laughs> I heard speaking something of, different. Speaking of talks, no, I heard sorry. something totally <laughs> different. Speaking <laughs> of talks, you said farmers, right? <laughs> farmer's <laughs> art is farmer's art. You just combine okay. it. You just give it a combine. Well, that's yes. nice, right there in the park. Yes. One Love Don't Cafe. They do, and they do, uh, we'll they do on a street um, uh, sidewalk art, too, from what I recall. Some beautiful it's stuff, like eight, in chalk. 18 professional sculptors. Oh, the sculptors really? issue, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. It's just that one day, Well, they, that's how they get I think started. they'll be there afterwards, the opening. Yeah. Right. The opening, right. And, and then, then it will go everything for, like, stays, the summer, yeah. I think. Yep, yep, yeah. exactly. So that's pretty cool. I do some uh, um, sculpting of sorts. I do Whitland with, like, vegetables and stuff. Really? Oh, I... You I'll, have right. in, I'll have to bring in my... Never cease to amaze me. Yeah. Jack of all trades. Yeah. For I'll, 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 I'll have to true. bring in some of so my, uh, some of so my wares, so to speak. So next up, we have the Black Heritage Juneteenth Festival. Yes, yes. So that's pretty uh, fun. Is that going to be right been, back I've here on the Worcester Common? Is it, is it on yep. the Worcester Common this year? The Institute Park. Institute Park. Yeah. Have you been to that? Yes. I have. I've actually, and but they also, I think, as part of that festival, don't they do like the day before? They do a reading on the Worcester Common of the uh, yes. Emancipation yes. Proclamation. They do by yep. a Frederick Douglass um, uh, reenactor. Mm -hmm. And I think they've had um, quite a crowd. Trooper Joe. Yeah. yeah. Trooper Joe. Yeah. Sure. He, Trooper Joe come. He's uh, he is a reenactor of the uh, uh, African American Buffalo Soldiers from. That's what the yeah. name was, right? Buffalo Soldiers of the, of the uh, yes, Union definitely. Army back in the 1860s and 70s. Oh, wow, look at that. History lesson. He's great, though. That he's, on, he's on point. Did he read your uh, agenda today? <laughs> he did. No, I've never seen him. He's yeah. amazing. It, it's, it, you know, he gets and really connects with the kids. Mm, good. So that's Saturday, June 17th. Cool. 12 to 8. Yep. So next up, we have, this is kind of interesting. So Make Music Day Worcester. This is on the Worcester Common Oval, okay. so it's for people to just kind of come down and jam, make music. Oh, and I got oh, like, so there because once again we're gonna hear about his musical prowess. Hip hop, play? Hip, hip hop, no, puppet show. I'm just thinking like a cardboard box and a break I'm totally dance. thinking like washboard or, or or like a bucket. Are you going hillbilly? <laughs> You went from I bucket, would go hillbilly. Go I would go. I would dancing dance. guru. I would go hillbilly to hillbilly. That's that's, that's my funny. range. Yes, that's <laughs> impressive. I call myself Hick Jagger. Jagger. Hick Jagger. Hick Jagger. What do you okay. think of that? 
No. And I have like no. a mullet. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm no. feeling that. You're not feeling yeah. it? Mm. Moving on. Moving on. So that's Wednesday, June But you June can bring your own instrument to this. That's in the yes. afternoon, though. Yes. So it's uh, 10 to 8, all day. Oh, all day. All day. It's kind of Are you supposed to jam together with other people? Or is it like you have your own little booth and you're jamming in your booth and people just come to see you and then move both. on? I think there's both. Yeah. Do you bring like a tip hat? Is this like, like Faneuil mm. Hall? Like, you know, you're just entertaining? The, that's a good, it's like, a very fair question. Five, five gallon drums, you put them down, we stop playing the drums. That's what I mean. You've seen those kids, they're like amazing. They're fantastic. It's probably you know? a personal call on the tip thing, but. I'm a huge sure. drum fan. I don't know. It's like a beat. You know, I, I don't know, something about it. Anyway. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've never been to that before, but that might be what cool to that check out. That is June 21st. Okay. Wednesday. Yes. Yep. So next up, we have 4th of July. Wow, we're already oh. talking about 4th of yeah. July. Yeah. All over. Uh, Worcester's annual Independence Day celebration. Um, so that's June 30th from 4 to 10 p.m. Wow. That's yep. Friday? That's, and that's, that's over at Friday. East Park? Friday, yes, at East Park. Um, so that's when the fireworks are this year is on June 30th. Yes. Because July 4th is on a Tuesday. Yes. Correct. So they're doing them the Friday usually, before. Well, you know, they'll probably do that and then have a rain day maybe the next day or something, right? Sure, they could do that, but it's still not going to be July 4th. So yeah. people are, on, you know, on the July yeah. 4th. Yeah, rain date if is... If you show up on July 4th, you're too late. <laughs> yeah, but you can help clean up the park. You can. The so rain date is July 1st. Saturday. Just in case. There that's... Oh, there we so go. What time? What time do the, the events start? Four, um, four p.m. Goes till ten, and then they'll have the fireworks. Yep. Excellent. Any ice cream fest coming up? Anything? You know, listen. You know. There about was that. an ice cream social <laughs> that was going to be put on by the uh, Auburn Elf? and Blackstone Valley Chamber. Oh, really? What happened? But I, I didn't, I, you know. Because you don't want to get tagged as the ice cream. I don't want to tag as ice cream girl. Uh, yeah, the ice cream girl. You know. So we all miss out because you don't want to. <laughs> well, it was a, it was a chamber update. event that you had to pay for, okay. but it was ice cream social. But then that's going on. You know, it's so we going on. We stuck it in there, kind of. We did. We did. What, and is the the what is the date of this event? Uh, you know, I don't know because I just I don't really want to harp on it too much because. I'm already working. So you know, you well, know the joke was the first time she came on, she had these events, and, and the, like two of them included ice cream. We were like, what, what is, did you just like find the ice cream stuff that's going so on? I don't know if you're paying attention to what's going on behind the scenes. Folks can't see this, but we just got the one minute cue mm -hmm. uh -oh. from Murano's minute, which has lasted all of about five minutes. <laughs> so I don't know what the minute but is. But four and a half was like me, was like me talking about, uh, you know, Whitland and such. So. Sure, 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 sure. Well, thank anyway. you very much. And welcome yeah, great to the job. show. Thank you. Great is this going to be a monthly thing then? You're going to be physically on site. This is a segment that we can count on. That would be great. We can count on you for a minute. That would be very enjoyable. All right. How about that? Well, and the with launch that, is official. The launch is official. We are going to take another break, and then we'll be back with another guest and more of the working lunch. Super job. Really good job. I'm gonna point to your paper. And Trisha's having a sleepover tonight. Can I go? I wonder about Lucy's friends. What should I say? I know you're only ten, but one of these days a friend will offer you a drink. And alcohol at your age can lead to so many things. None of them good. So can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. I finished my homework. <laughs> Bigger promise. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? Sure. Really? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. So there you are, shuffling through a stack of resumes and you come to mind. This is it, first impression, my way in. But can my resume show you how I truly stand out like that I was studying, going to night school while working two jobs just to help my parents pay for groceries. Or being the first one to always step up. No, that's something you just can't put on paper. Look beyond the resume and discover new ways to develop great talent that is dedicated, hardworking, and determined like me. 
When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. When nope. When you Mr. Pop. I don't know why you don't take me downtown. Like you got anywhere better to be. Will I see you tonight? On a downtown train. Nope. And now it's time for another edition of Downtown with Ethan Brown. Hey everyone. I want to welcome you to another segment of Downtown with Ethan Brown. I'm your host, Ethan Brown. And uh, we, with this segment, we always want to highlight things that are going on in the city, businesses that are coming in, doing some great stuff. Um, I'm here with Victoria Mariano. She is one of the owner and operators of Bull Mansion. How are you doing, Victoria? Good. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Glad you're here. Um, first, you just kind of walk in, and the, the place is like, wow. It's, it, it, you, the renovations you've done are really, really great. Um, I love the mural in the back. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Um, but now, so in developing and, and, and coming here to the Bull Mansion, you guys work closely with the city, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Um, Economic Development Office, uh, or Business Development Office, mm -hmm. um, was the first uh, people we really went to. And, um, you know, acquiring a um, historic property, yeah. figuring out um, what your limitations are, mm -hmm. um, what you can do, what you can't do. Uh, and if there's anything out there to help us um, financially. Um, and then navigating through different other different departments. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just so many different ways um, they're there as a resource. And uh, yeah, we went to them right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. really. So why, why, uh, why the Bull Mansion? Why'd you choose this particular site? Um, actually, I was looking uh, for a building for a friend of mine for a different idea. Oh, you <laughs> stole it. <laughs> And uh, when I came across this listing, and I just couldn't believe this was even listed. Mm -hmm. It just seems like such a catch of a yeah. building, um, and they were fairly pricing it for what it was. Yep. And, um, so I just got really intrigued by it, although it was out of uh, the price range for my friend. Mm -hmm. I continued C to conveniently. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't think you can afford this. This would be a horrible, horrible place for you to start. <laughs> Let's go look at somewhere else. Let's take you over by Park Ave. There's a gas station that I think is, is just, it's done. It blew up like a year ago, but I think it'd be perfect spot for your restaurant. Is that essentially what you said? Well, you know, <laughs> uh, more or less, but, um, but yeah, no, it was a totally different idea, actually. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a restaurant idea at all. I never thought I'd open a restaurant, honestly. Really? But, uh, but yeah, so it ended up just, just kind of came together, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, all in, all in part with people that helped because, you know, it was out of my price range too, but mm -hmm. you find people to help you and you find, uh, you know, you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so you said initially you didn't think you'd ever be opening up a restaurant. What did you do before this? And then it, was your experience in hospitality? Or? Um, yep, I've always been in hospitality, but um, I focused more on just entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, so my other two companies are Spiritual Haze and Electric Haze. Oh, and, wow. Um, what are, what, are you, what are those companies? What do you think? Um, Spiritual Haze, the idea was a, um, to be more of an atmosphere. So mm -hmm. the, the mission was to be a, a positive social environment um, for the college age kids in, mm -hmm. in Worcester. And uh, ended up being a hookah lounge. And, oh, wow. Um, we have like all sorts of art and shows there mm -hmm. and creative nights. Um, and, uh, and then Electric Haze is a uh, 21 plus full music venue, okay. live music every night. Um, and then a full bar and uh so i've been more into the entertaining side of the hospitality yeah. um rather than the, the food side mm -hmm. so this is my first run with food gotcha now you guys have here you have event space and uh, mm -hmm. i believe you guys last night they had a really really cool jazz night can you tell me a little bit about that that's right yeah um so that's kind of my specialty i guess is mm -hmm. doing the event space and so I, I focus heavily on our ballroom upstairs mm -hmm. um and like last night was dinner and jazz yep. and you can, um, it was like a three course meal um, and a couple sets by a jazz band. Um, but like Saturday, we're doing a murder mystery fundraiser. Really? Um, so it's like a buffet style dinner, but then there's this whole plot that will unfold and actors and you have to figure out That's who cool. was the murderer. So you so. come here and someone actually gets killed <laughs> and then you have to solve that murder. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. <laughs> Queasy, make a note of that. <laughs> we need to come down here because we, we've been seriously thinking about doing a CSI Worcester oh, cool. 
call. And this might, you know what I mean? Yeah. This might, are you, are you writing it down? Or texting it, whatever? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Well, it fits with the, because it's a gothic style it architecture is, yeah. on the outside. So any of that kind of hunted murder mystery stuff goes really well with this building. Cool. Yeah. And speaking of the building, we're looking around. You guys have done some really, really great stuff with the space. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. Um, we just came in and uh, came in with a professional designer, mm -hmm. actually, because um, the, the space itself already has so much character. Yeah. And the architect, um, Calvert Bow, put so much attention to detail on both outside and inside. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to bring a little bit of modern into the space with still highlighting the old architecture. Mm -hmm. um, kind of make it, like appreciate the older um, pieces in here um, without making it feel old. Yeah. And, uh, and so everywhere we kind of looked, we saw like what, what you can't take out and what you can mm -hmm. add to. And uh, like, this wall was just a regular horsehair plaster wall, so we added kind of a new style um, yeah. tile to it. And so anything that already wasn't like special, mm -hmm. we would change a little bit. Anything that was special, we try to highlight. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was kind of the process. That's um, cool. And just trying to f make it blend everywhere too, where it's not um, it's not too eclectic. Yeah. You know, um, it has to be a little eclectic because it's from 1800s yeah, all the way to period, yeah. 2016. Yep. There's going to be some different, you know, mm -hmm. generations in, um, in there, centuries in there, but uh, but otherwise, yeah, we, um, the, I think a professional designer really helped with this process because yeah. um, figuring out how to not go too out of the box mm -hmm. um, uh, was important. Now, were there limitations because this is considered a historical building, were there limitations that you guys had to deal with? Absolutely, yeah. Um, actually, you know, the business development office had sent me this big packet to go through about like what we can and can't do mm -hmm. and uh but you know reading it through it's all stuff i wouldn't change anyway yeah it's like you know all of the things that are in really good shape that are you know from the 1800s mm -hmm. um don't change and it's like i wouldn't want to change that you know um, but i think it's and those rules are important because it's in place for people that don't realize the value yeah of um some of the woodwork and some of the materials used and um and so, yeah, it was, it was stuff I wouldn't want to change anyway, so it was fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you guys did a great job with the space that you have. Um, the, the restaurant is, 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 you know, just the way they set up, everything I think looks really, really good. Thank you. Um, and then the event space. So I was here last night myself. Uh, we were actually at the jazz show, yep. which we, we, we thought was a really great show. And I had the lamb tagine, I believe it was. Yep. Yep. This thing was so <laughs> big. The guy who brought it out, brought it out on a two-wheeler and he was wearing a back brace. <laughs> That's how big it was. It's like in the Flintstones when they bring out the brontosaurus ribs and you put it on the cough. That's almost what happened. I put it on the table and we almost fell over. Uh, <laughs> It was I love really that good. you said that because that's how the chef describes it. He's like, Pretty, yeah, style, it's of huge. Yeah. yeah, we're like, there was a guy with a crane going like this <laughs> and a guy ushering in the lamb guy to put it on the plate. No, I'm yeah. kidding. But no, um, yeah, so what you guys have, it's really, really cool here, really, really great. If people are interested in coming to the restaurant, where are we sending them?